Well, Rico, talk us through your first goal in Brentford Colours. I mean, to be, to be honest, um, I got a nosebleed like, when I was up there. But um, obviously, I was just in the space. I skipped round the defender. And um, obviously, I swung my right foot. I don't usually use it, but it worked today. And the, the celebration, the way the, the players reacted as well, it was, a, it was a very popular goal. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my first goal for Brentford, it means a lot to me. Um, I didn't know how to celebrate. Um, I just, mine went blank, but it was good to get the three points. So the, the, the three points as well must make the goal that little bit sweeter. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we need, it was a much needed three points. Um, we're just going to take the confidence into the next game and hopefully get another win. How good do you think the performance was today? I mean, we was on the front foot. We knew, we knew they changed managers. Um, we knew they'd be coming here for a challenge. Um, we stuck with them today. It was on the front foot. Um, and yeah, it was good to get the three points. And then, then playing a, a diamond in midfield meant there was a lot of a space for, for you out wide as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we had a lot of space. The wing-backs, me and Henrik, um, off the ball, uh, we were just looking to press them, stay on the front foot, off the ball, we were looking to exploit them, get into good areas and we had a lot of space and a lot of joy on the ball. And six unbeaten now, how high is the confidence getting in the dressing room? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, everyone believes now um, confidence is high. Um, we just got to keep it up and keep going. And uh, play, with every game, are, are players getting more and more used to this new system? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, we're always working on it in training. Um, everyone's used to it now. Um, and it, yeah, it's good, it's good for the team. And for yourself, you know, we don't want to talk about, about injuries too much, but you, you're playing week in, week out again, which must be ex exactly what you wanted when you, you came back. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was the plan to get back in the team. Um, it was tough, obviously, at the start of getting back. But um, I just want to say a big thank you to the medical team, uh, Neil Gregory. Um, what helped me get back um, with the strength and stuff and my knee injury. And obviously, I feel good uh, now and um, hopefully can keep going. And we spoke just as soon as you came back. Obviously, you did a lot of work off the off the pitch when you were injured, you know, tactically, technically, etc., stuff like that. Do you feel that that's helping you now? You're back. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I was out for a year, so we had to had to stay on it, um, stay on it with the clips, um, just watching clips and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good to be back. And do you feel you're back at 100 percent, or do you feel there's still little bits that are still to come? No, I feel good. Um, I feel 100 percent. Um, everything's fine. My knee feels fine and stuff. Um, yeah, I feel good. And in terms of you as a, as a as a player, do you feel that you're you're back performing at your very highest, or do you, do you say still little bits that you think can can get better? Yeah, I think there's little bits I could uh, get better. Always, there's always uh, room for improvement. Um, obviously, my end product today, like my uh, a couple of crosses and that, um, I could have got better, but. Um, We'll work on it in training and um, yeah, hopefully we can keep going.